Shalom Akim, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Hakadash, the honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of Great Mr. Andrew Well, uh, the Akim preaching the gospel of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and truth throughout the four corners of the earth. This is what I'm your DC camp. Quick lesson, try to find the hook for the elect. Alright, so, uh, as you know, the economy is already in the, you know, in the gutters right now. Okay, a lot of folks think everything is going to return, you know, to a so-called, uh, you know, no prosperous uh, level, but it's not, okay? So, well, a lot of people are going to be devastated when they know that they cannot uh, recoup, right, their uh, so-called uh, <laughs> goals or dreams or aspirations, okay? So the man of the Lord already understand what's coming, you know, we already know that America is on its way out. So we just have to prepare accordingly, all right? Even though you have opportunities to make some moves, generate a few profits here and there in this world, always remember the real profit is in the, it's in the scriptures of Lord Abba, Shema Shai, and that profit is wisdom, okay? You have to be profitable, okay, when it comes to the work of the Lord, all right? You have to seek after riches that uh, cannot be tarnished, by this world, okay. So, I'm gonna read uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 33. Because remember, all that we need is just wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai. Those are the true riches, the true wealth, all right. That the true wealth which we really need for sustenance. So, Romans chapter 11, verse 33. All the depth of the riches. But of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. All right, Romans chapter 11, verse 33 all the depth of the riches, but of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh. So there's so much for us to gain from the Lord. We're basically scratching the surface right now, man. Okay. When it comes to the knowledge of the scriptures, right, there's so much more that the Lord about Shema Shai is going to reveal to us. All right, so it says, How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. All right, so we're getting in revelations every day, we're getting blessed with this knowledge on an hourly basis, you know, on a minute by minute basis. All right, because we, we're growing in the spirit, all right, you're overcoming obstacles. And you're beginning to see how the Lord has already orchestrated certain things. And then you realize that, well, you know what? I guess I don't uh, I don't really see the whole picture. But I know that uh, everything is looking perfect. All right? And then you see more, and then you see more, and then you see more, and then you see more. When you think you've seen the whole picture, and then you see more. That's how it is with the Lord. Okay? There's a no, never-ending... Uh, you know, story to so his uh, arrangements of how he scheduled certain uh, events to take place, certain prophecies, all right? So it's best, you know, you just uh, take everything in one little bit at a time because you don't want to be overwhelmed, all right? You don't want to drown, <laughs> okay? So um, another precept, you know, it's going to be from the book of Proverbs chapter 8. Verse 11, because, uh, you know, when I look on uh, online, looking at all this real estate uh, investments, you know, and all these properties, you just see foreclosure, 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 all right? People are losing it, so you just have to prepare yourself, you know, to be financially educated, and you also got to be prepared spiritually to be educated on how to apply the scriptures. And manage, you know, you hear the you hear the parable of the, you know, of the smart servant, you know, that was uh, <laughs> that knew how to mark down certain debts. All right, so you could have something on hand when its master comes around. That's what it's gonna be like. Okay, you have to understand how to apply the scriptures. You're not gonna be able to get everything, whatever you can, just get it. <laughs> All right. Whatever you can, just get it. That's what it boils down to. Okay. So, um, 
Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11. It says, For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Alright, so that's exactly what you need to be striving for the knowledge of the Lord Yabashima Shai Bashima Kwakadesh. Alright, that's what made King Solomon great. He had the wisdom that was a blessing unto him from the Lord Yahweh. Alright, so that's really what counts. Right, should seek after the wisdom first. All right, seek the kingdom of the Lord, and it's going to bless you with the wisdom you need to govern yourself and to govern your household. It's going to be tough, all right, and because you're still in captivity, but at least you know what you need to do. All right, so you will not be confused, you will not be uh, overly upset. All right, it's just for a brief, a brief moment. You know, because it's a bitter, it's a bitter place to live in. So you have to know how to handle yourself with the scriptures. So you're able to see things clearly, all right? Because you have to be sober, all right? You don't want to get drunk, all right? So verse 12 says, I, I wisdom, draw with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. And that's what it's what the what it's all about. It's about helping you rediscover yourself, and um, you know, getting you out of the way of unrighteousness. You know, keeping your feet out of all the snares and the traps of the enemy. Right? That's what it boils down to. And you're able to, you know, save those that hear you. All right. So another precept is going to be from the book of Sirach, chapter one. Verse 14. It says to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it is created, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. Sirach so chapter 1, verse 14. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. And that's exactly what we're looking forward to. You know, to be a, a body of faithful men, a body of faithful servants in the week the work of the Lord all right that's what we you know we desire okay because uh, this world is gonna give us nothing but headaches and uh, and the and depression you know that's why you have to be balanced okay you have to return to the Lord so you can get that spiritual boost right because uh, dealing in this dealing with this world it gets your morale down if you think this world is gonna encourage you all right, to so stand up for just, you know, for just recompense, for justice and all that, you know, you're in the wrong place, okay? But where we need to be is to dwell in the scriptures. That's all we have, all right? Verse 15 says, She had built an everlasting foundation with men, and she shall continue with their seed. And that's exactly what, uh, you know, we are a part of. That's why the men of the Lord, so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, the so called Native Americans that believe in the Lord, they are by Shima Shai, by Shima Kadash. That's exactly what they're hoping for, man. An everlasting foundation that can be passed on, you know, to our children, you know, our children's children. That's why they call it an everlasting dynasty, okay, based on righteousness, okay. That's why they call it a, a never ending government, never ending government, the government of the Lord, you have Shai. So another precept is going to be from the book of uh, Job, okay? Because the wisdom of this world is, is it's vanity, okay? It's it's a uh, it's a waste, okay? You can't get you where you need to be spiritually because it's always changing, it's unstable, okay? So this is the book of Job, chapter twenty-eight. I'm going to read from verse twelve to verse thirteen. It says, "But where shall wisdom be found?" And where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the price thereof, neither is it found in the land of the living. Meaning what? It's of the spiritual realm. It comes from the Lord. Okay? And that's exactly what... Uh, John says, 
So this is John chapter 3, verse 27. Or it says, John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. All right. And that's what it boils down to. It's a spiritual blessing. Okay. It's a spiritual knowledge that you have access to. All right. You can't go to no university, no college, no library to obtain this wisdom. It's a spiritual wisdom. All right. The Lord, you know, even said he sends the comforter. All right, to, to bring to bring all things to remembrance, all right, to stir up our pure minds, and that's exactly what's going on. All right, he's separating the shaft of this world so that we can hold on to the everlasting knowledge which we truly desire. All right, so final precepts going to be from the book of uh, James, chapter one, verse seventeen. It says, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. It's from the Heavenly Father. All right? And come it down from the Father of lights. All right? It's a spiritual, it's a spiritual endowment. Okay? It's a spiritual inheritance with whom is no variableness. All right? So the Lord is not wishy-washy. He's uh, who he says he is. All right? Neither shadow of turning. So when the Lord has already promised that he's going to give his elect wisdom, knowledge and understanding to publish to the people in times of their need, that they're always going to get it. All right? So the Lord is always going to be on time. He's always going to deliver. All right? So that's the point that I can, you know, just have to pray that the wisdom of the Lord you know, rests upon you. In this last days, shall one.